configuring VMware Workstation 8 for nested Hyper-V virtualization. Hey, this is Greg Shields with CBT Nuggets. And uh, you might be wondering, well, wait a minute. Can I have a virtual machine inside of a virtual machine inside of a virtual machine? In fact, you can. If you're running VMware Workstation 8, you can actually run Hyper-V virtual machines inside of virtualized Hyper-V. Here's a copy of Windows 2012, where I'm taking a look at the Hyper-V Manager. And this is a virtualized copy of Windows 2012. And inside of Windows, I have another Windows 8 desktop that's currently running here inside of the Hyper-V Manager. In fact, I can connect up to that uh, desktop here by choosing Connect. So this copy of, uh, in fact, Windows 7 is running in what we call nested virtualization, where I have VM running in a VM. Now, the way that you accomplish that requires a couple of extra steps that you can't just directly do from inside of VMware Workstation. One step you'll do inside and one step you won't. What I want to do here first is actually just to power off this copy of Windows Server 2012 because I want to get at the specific configurations inside of VMware Workstation. Here under Edit Virtual Machine Settings, you can see all the different things that get set up uh, whenever we're creating a new virtual machine. And there's a couple of things we have to be aware of. The first and most important of which is here under Processors. And if you're running Workstation 8, you'll see this new item down here called Virtualize Intel VT-X or AMD-V. When you create that Windows 2012 virtual machine, make sure that you've got that checkbox enabled so that you can actually virtualize those extensions. Now, that's one of the first things that you're going to have to accomplish. The other thing you have to do is kind of trick Hyper-V into not really realizing that it's actually in a virtual environment. Now, one of the ways that you can accomplish that actually happens here inside of your, your disk structure. And I'm taking a look here at the F drive of the computer where VMware Workstation is installed onto. On the F drive is this server win 2012-1. And here's the VMX file that was created when I first created this virtual machine. If I right click here and actually open up this uh, file here in Notepad, what I want to do is actually locate a, an item down here that you will have to in, uh, add to this file manually to get it to support nested virtualization. And the item is hypervisor.cpuid.v0 equals false. And you can put that really anywhere inside of the VMX file, but you're going to need to manually type that in after you create the virtual machine, but before you power it on. If you accomplish both of, both of these settings, well, then that'll actually enable uh, Hyper-V to run inside of nested virtualization. You may also want to select the Accelerate 3D graphics link here just to help you out with some of the, uh, the display and how the display ends up looking. But these are the things that you might want to do so that you can support Windows Server 2012 in nested virtualization. If you want to learn more about configuring virtualization and Hyper-V, check out my Hyper-V CBT Nuggets series at cbtnuggets.com. But until then, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.